and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. I don't know what that was. Um, we're going to sit down today. We're going to do some glam makeup because um, the weather outside is miserable. Um, and we're going to sit down and discuss my love life because your gal is officially seeing someone. Which some people is going to be like, boring. But I do touch on a lot in this video about a lot. And I just, I touch on a lot about a lot. And I just really hope you enjoy it. Get comfy, get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself some biscuits, and just enjoy the the, the ride. Yeah, well, this the whole channel is it is a roller coaster. But I hope you enjoy this video, and yeah, let's go to Bareface Lily. We just browse. So, on. I didn't actually think I'd be filming one of these videos anytime soon. But when you're not looking for something, generally good things appear. So we're gonna do a pink eye look. And we're just going to probably ramble for 20 minutes about my love life. And it's not actually a shit show. Ah! So, let's just put some makeup on. Okay. So, I am... Um, I say officially seeing someone. I will put out there, I hate the terminology used these days. Um, or the terminology, like, that is in this generation. Like, honestly, it's ridiculous. And it's so cringe and just yeah anyway i am officially seeing someone um and those words coming out my mouth at this part of my journey of me i didn't think would be happening because you know i've been focusing on myself for myself um bettering myself and all that shit um and it just feels really nice to say that i am dating seeing a lovely guy who is basically me in male form but better um we have our differences for sure like we have you know we have things that we but we have a lot in common is what i'm trying to say um i feel nervous filming this and i don't even know why because obviously i've always stated now that certain things are going to remain private but i do want to share certain parts of it do you know what i mean because it's my life and this channel is a little aspect of my life and yeah this is what's going on oh my god i need to get a grip um this is what i mean i'm accepting these happy feelings normally these kind of feelings and like happy emotions would make me run a mile i'm gonna be completely honest with you and he knows that like i was straight up when we first met i was like boy i've got walls built like the great wall of china um and it feels really nice but also scary to feel like some of them are coming down um but it's the same for him that's one thing i've always put into perspective Everything I'm feeling, he's also feeling too in his own way. Um, so yeah, P. Louise. It's just, just oh, gorgeous. Anyway. So yeah. Um, so we're seeing each other. We've been on dates. It's been lovely. Um, he stayed last week. My mum's met him. I accidentally, it wasn't the plan when I stayed at his to meet his dad, but I've met his dad um, and his younger brother. And it was the loveliest time. Um so yeah it's just i don't know i've met some of his friends he's met emma um we've had really good conversations about what we want what we look for you know which i think is fundamental like the first time we met we were like but it was a click it just like and i've never genuinely had that and whatever happens from this which is something i do want to state like this is the most positive i've been about a situation with someone whatever really um but obviously i am realistic like things can change and you know but i have positive thoughts about this um but yeah so we've been seeing each other we've been dating going on dates and cool facetime message that kind of stuff um actually just got off the phone from him now he's um feeling rougher than an arsehole and um, went out with his mate for um his mate's event which was lovely which went really well um so yeah um that's that he is 25 he's six foot three which if you don't know if this is the first video you're clicking on which i doubt but if it is hi let me know if it is in the comments um because i'm always interested to know um i'm six foot bordering six foot and a half so i need a tall guy i'm sorry um i do <laughs> because i'm tall um he's six three he, this is the main part. Anyone that knows me knows I'm looking at my Harry Potter shelf. I'm a Harry Potter freak fan. 
lover, right? He absolutely loves Harry Potter. He's taught me things about Harry Potter I didn't even know. Can we believe it? Um, he loves Disney, he loves Marvel. He's just such a gorgeous soul, inside and out. And yeah, um, I am that girl that messaged all my girl mates and I sent pictures from our date the other night. He's met my godparents because he, we weren't necessarily planning on going out um, Wednesday night, but we did. Um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. It was the perfect night. He got me flowers. I'll insert some pictures now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just very strange, but very nice to say that I am on a journey of finding happiness for myself. Um, but I'm also on a journey with someone that is very supportive. And I've never had someone that is blatantly accepting me for everything. And that is key. If you're dating or on the dating scene, which I know in this generation is bollocks. Like, dating in this generation is just ridiculous. Um, and I'm going to do, like, a dating get ready with me. Talking about, like, all my experiences. Because I think that could be quite fun. Um, but, yeah. And I just, I cannot express how happy I am right now. And who knows? what the future holds but we both want long term so yeah it's just it's very strange but in a good way like definitely not in a bad way and it's just i don't really know how to convey all this to be honest but um yeah i'm very happy um like the people that are important in my life like him like him and emma meeting on wednesday night was perfect we had the best time we were didn't stop laughing and like don't get me wrong she goes does he need my like blessing and i was like well in a way yeah like i'm going with my feelings and i'm letting my head and my heart and my gut guide me through this and it's guided me in the right direction but the people that i love and close to me i'm sure all of you can relate it's important what they think um anyone else they can fuck off but these people of course it matters and when i said to her of course it bloody does you don't know um and like he likes everyone in my life and it just shows you that you know you have to go through the shit to experience the good and that's what i've been doing and we're here <laughs> we're at this stage and it just feels really crazy and really nice and i just ah. um i'm actually seeing him tonight which is gonna be lovely staying at his um as i said we've got so much in common we've got so much to talk about we want a lot of the same things but also we want like we have our own lives that we're living which is something that's so important because in my previous relationship which I don't dwell on at all, believe it or not, but it's relevant to this conversation. Um, in my previous relationship, we were in each other's pockets 24-7, um, which is nice. Well, it wasn't in my case, but, well, it was at one point. I can't lie. Do you know what I mean? And this is my point. I have completely healed from that, and I'm looking at it from an outsider's perspective, whereas I was just looking at it going, oh, it's all his fault. He's such a dick. Um, as in my ex when don't get me wrong he wasn't the most nicest of persons at times but neither was i um and like i've taken more accountability for my actions and the effect i had and i've grown from it and learned like how to try and deal with shit now rather than just run away from it which is what i did for the entirety of that relationship which is something i'm not going to do now so i am taking parts of my past relationship into my budding one i don't know how to call it if it was really strange um but yeah so one thing i will say don't talk too much on your past if especially if it was a bad like it ended messy like your past relationship or whatever however do grow from it and glow from it and just know what you want and what you don't want um i'm just gonna do my eyeliner off camera and put my lashes on which are i will show you i've got my new made by bitch one my old one looks like this like it's all grotty this is my brand new one but I am going to be doing a makeup declutter this weekend. So, but I've got these lashes, half lashes from Amazon. Um, and it's just one of these pairs. I'm going to like de-eyeliner them because they're a bit gunky. But I am good at reusing my lashes now. Um, but yeah, most of these lashes are probably going to go. 
um, in a giveaway at the end of that video or whatever. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm going to do my lashes and my eyeliner and lashes and then I'll be back. Back. That was a lot easier than I thought. I also applied my primer. This stuff is amazing. I've got the Prime Up Dupe. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. But it is well loved. Definitely recommend. Um, okay, let's apply my base. Look at that. But I've got another one thanks to my mum. Lover. Um, okay. Base. Let's switch over the brushes. So. I don't really know what else to talk about. Other than the fact that I'm like really happy. Hopefully found someone that is really nice. Um, but I have a very good feeling. Like my mum is very. Because of my past with. Because I am bisexual as well. Which is something that doesn't matter well, it matters to me um and i hope you know that people can get their head out of like the 19th century gutter um but like my mum has experienced like all aspects of my love life from both sides and she hasn't been this happy for me as in like for me and what she sees um i don't think like ever really um, like she says she was so comfortable around him like she has like her mental health like I do like so many of us do and she just kept saying like she just felt so comfortable around him and that's something that she really struggles with and one thing that she was really nervous for for when that time came when I met someone I wanted them to stay over obviously I would never make my mum feel uncomfortable so it was more sort of like on her it was more kind of like the ball was in her court if you see what I mean and she was so comfortable with him. She told me like literally this morning and yesterday, like he's welcome around any time. And yeah, it just, what my mum thinks, obviously, cause we've been through so much together. Um, you know, and that's so, something I always like remember and keeps me grounded is the fact that we've been through so much together. She's been, she's on this roller coaster of my life. Um, she's been on this roller coaster with me. She's still on this roller coaster with me, you know, and she's very supportive and I wouldn't be here without her, as I mentioned numerous times, and it's true. But like the next person that I'm well involved with, like I am now, that's kind of like I'm not dating now to be in the six month thing and then for it to be over, preferably. You know, I know we can't all we can't see into the future, so who knows? But me and this guy are the same let's call him Sam because i'm not as i said i'm still keeping a lot of it for me and for him like he's very supportive of youtube like he doesn't care i think he actually wants to be in videos at some point and if it feels right at the time and i feel ready to you know then yeah 100 percent. but we're gonna call him sam for now um you know he's just everything quite frankly that i've been looking for and maybe i might look back at this and say but i don't think i will Genuinely, I don't think I will because I believe now people come into your life for a reason, either for a short time or a long time. Um, I don't know if think this is the same, but for me, they're either a turning page or they're a chapter. That's how I live by. That's what I live by anyway. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, for everything to happen at the pace it has normally would scare me. But it's just felt right. And I think that's the most important thing. You know, like, I've met his dad was not planned but i think some of the best things aren't planned you know the unexpected can actually be really freaking amazing and it was we had the loveliest time um and it was just so nice to get to know you know people that i'm going to be hopefully spending a, like, a lot of time with you know um in between my own life and that's another thing like he's so supportive of my life the journey i'm on like after my therapy sessions like he always wants to know how i've got on as much as i want to say like it's just yeah so and you know everyone suffers in their own way and i think we've got a lot in common in that respect like he knows how hard it is like i've dated people that have no idea about mental health like they've never dated anyone with mental health so in the end it's caused so many issues so you know because i come as me i come as a package deal you know i've got my mental health and it's part of me and it always will be no matter how healed i am my life and what i've been through will always be a part of me what doesn't kill you makes you stronger in the wise words of kelly clarkson and that's never going to change it's never going to just suddenly disappear i'm going to have really good days i'm going to have bad days it's normal that's normal life anyway but for someone that suffers from mental health like people i'm sure watching this you can relate so to find someone that that also that part clicks is 
imperative for me and it's something that my family have wanted for me like not to lose myself again in wanting to please someone and then losing myself in the process and then be back at square one i'm not saying that things are going to be easy you know you work at things you fight for things if it's worth fighting for and that's what i've learned like giving your energy to the wrong people being around the wrong people like you know negativity breathes negativity positive energy breathes positive energy like it's just the way it is and i'm around positive people and you know he is sam so to speak <laughs> it feels really weird calling him that um and you might watch this thinking who the fuck is sam it's you babes it's you it's your youtube name um but yeah like it's just it's so important to me and like i just couldn't want anything else to be honest um there's a song by Miles Smith called My Home. Guys, listen to it. It's such a beautiful song. It resonates for me for my granddad. And it also resonates for me for other family members and really close friends. It's got so many different meanings for me in such a beautiful way. And, like, it's also for the same film. This boy, like, I listen to it and I'm like... Yes, please. <laughs> I've just been saying, oh, his name on YouTube at the moment is Sam. My mum's just come in, talked to some deodorant, God love her. And I said that you really like Sam, don't you? I do, really, very much. So, I'm not paying it. She's not shouting help with her eyes. Yeah, thank you. But she's not shouting help with her eyes. She's saying that for her own free will. <laughs> but yeah, it just feels right. And as I said, my mum is one of the loveliest people ever. And I'm not just saying that because it's my mum. Like, anyone that meets her is like, I can tell you don't get your attitude from her. <laughs> In a way, I do, but in a way, I really don't. Like, she's such a chill person. She's so much like my granddad in temperament. Um, God love my grandma. This is why I mean tangents, but God love my grandma. Me and Lynn have grandma's temperament more than, grand, like, granddad's, which I have granddad's, like, emotional side, for sure. Like, that is just a given. Like, everyone that meets me is like, you wear your heart on your sleeve, girl. I went, I know. But in this case, like, it's work, which is why I'm linking it, because... I know for a fact, like, I'm now looking at it going, like, my grandma, like, how would she be? Like, would she approve of certain things? And, like, obviously, future dating and stuff, like, before, obviously, I met this person. And there's so many people looking back, I'm like, Jesus, that is no. Um, and that's not meant in a really rude way. It's just being truthful. Whereas I know grandma is going to absolutely love him because... A, for himself, but also your family loves seeing your ha you happy. So as long as you're happy and your family, like, can tell that they are a good person for you and you're a good person for them, what more could you want? That concealer combination. Um, and the skin is skinning today. We love to see it. But I do notice in photos I don't always, like, add to my sides, so... Um, I might add a bit of more concealer there actually. This concealer is very messy. Oh my god. Is it amazing? Um, and yes, my brushes do need to clean. Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, so he will be meeting my grandma at some point, and I'm very excited for that. Um, so yeah, we're both very happy with how things are going. Both sides of friends like each other. Like, I've got more of his mates to meet, I'm sure, because his circle's a lot bigger than mine, and that's fine. Um, and me and his mates have similar interests, so when I met them, it wasn't awkward. Like, I was low-key in his car, outside the place we went to, shitting myself, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Like, I was scared. Not because I thought they were good, bad people, but due to past experiences, and you don't want to focus on the past, however the past can cloud the present time, or for me anyway. So, I was a bit scared. <laughs> But I had no reason to be. They were so lovely. And one of his mates is so talented. He's an artist. His artwork is phenomenal. Like, it's inc The talent is insane. You know? And I'm just looking at these people going, you've, you're doing your own thing. Like, you've got your own paths. And you're driven in your own ways. And that's what I'm surrounding myself with now. Like, friends. Friends of a partner. Potential partners. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want to be around good people. Um, nobody's perfect. I'm fully aware of that. But. You get the gist. I'm rambling, but you get the gist of what I'm going on about. What well, I hope you guys do anyway. Um, right, let's set. Oops, 
very rainy outside today. Still got cold, still got borderline tonsillitis. It's all fun. It's all fun and games. Um, but yeah, so it's just, it's good. It's going good. It's going as it should. And but yeah, I would have inserted pictures from our date night the other night because it was absolutely beautiful. It was exactly what I wanted. It was one of, if not the best like dinner date I've been on. And I thought I've been I've been on good dates. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been on good dates, but just not the not ones that meant as much. I think when you actually click with someone genuinely and you have feelings, you know, and you communicate those feelings and it's just so healthy because like today I won't go into it, but I had a conversation with him that I would never normally communicate. I let it fester in my head. He did nothing wrong at all. Um not how to justify that, but just to put it into context. I had no reason to worry. I had no reason to let my inner thoughts go the way they did, but it did. But I communicated it and I felt so much better afterwards. He was so lovely about it. Um, and yeah, like this lip oil, by the way. If you ever wonder why my lips look so pink. This is Revlon Glow Lip Oil from... Pound Lashes. Okay, let's get on to contour. Um, but yeah, so where is ah, here is favorite brush? Um, I can't really see, but I'm gonna go with that. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm seeing him tonight. Not sure what we're gonna do. Might vlog, might not. He is very supportive of it. Like I took my camera with me to his last weekend and i didn't really film anything because we were just enjoying in the moment but i know i could have done because he wouldn't have cared um but yeah it's like all i've been getting when i've been sending pictures to my friends like rihanna and oh my god we've been chatting so much and i love it because part of my madness and part of my like not looking after myself or doing the right things men i like distance myself from really good people not because I wanted to but just because that's just where my head was at and this is how I know I've got beautiful souls around me because they never left my side they gave me the space I needed but they were there they always have been so to my girls and all my friends that you know who you are I don't need to say but my little community of lovely gorgeous people I am forever grateful for you and just trust the process of this um, I'm forever grateful for you you saved me in ways that you probably don't even realise. Um, and yeah, it's just led me to believe that, you know, some friends, like I listen to podcasts now, who am I? Um, but yeah, I listen to podcasts now and I'm listening to it going, I relate to this so much. Like Hot Girl Energy, um, like Kylie Stewart, I think her name is. Um, and I relate to her so much. She's like, you surround yourself with positive people. Like the positive relationships you have are crucial to you on your journey of healing and you on your journey of just being the best version of yourself. And I've never had that. I've never understood that. I've always been like, oh, I've got the right people. Right. Did I fuck? Did I fuck? And I, this is your sign to anyone that is scared because you've become dependent on manipulative people that have made you feel like you won't get any better. And I'm not talking about relationships, I'm talking about friendships as well. Because that's the love story in itself. Like, you have love for your friends. You know, soulmates come in different forms. Like, my girls are my platonic soulmates. I absolutely fucking love them. I worship the ground they walk on. And I, I'm so happy for them when they succeed. And such a common thing now in this generation is to bring people down. And I'm like, why? Why do you want to bring people down so much? Like, jealousy is something that is part of all of us like people could say they don't have a jealous bone in their body and quite frankly i'm sorry come at me if you want i don't believe you i think jealousy is part of everyone unfortunately but it's just how you deal with it you know i look at people and think oh they're so lucky but are they like they'll be going through their own shit they'll be going through their own stuff just because they've got certain things or present themselves in a certain way does not mean they've got it all um, you know, I've looked at couples, for example, on social media, which is the most ridiculous thing to do. Like, thinking, oh my god, they're perfect. I want that. Like, there are some couples that I think, like, you just say, if they break up, you're never going to believe in love again. Because they're just so wholesome, but they're so brutally honest about the struggles they face. The things they've gone through as a couple, like, as a, in a relationship. And I strive for that. I strive for honesty. I strive for 
being your complete and utter self, which I know is a very fucking scary thing to do. But I've learned it's the best way to be. Because if you're not and you try to be someone you're not, especially with someone that you want to try and potentially build a life with, starting off on a lie or starting off on a false representation of yourself is never going to end well. It's not. Um, like, I am unapologetically myself and I always will be. Obviously, don't get me wrong, certain people see different aspects. Like at work, I'm professional but goofy and fun. Like I work with children, I'm in the childcare sector. It is what it is. And then my family will see like the crazy ADHD Lily that is just all over the place, but in good ways and sometimes bad ways. But, you know, I always had to try and change myself to fit in with relationships and dating, be this girl that I wasn't just to try and like get people to like me. And I am not here to sit here and go, if you're doing that, shame on you, because no, that's the wrong way to be. I'm here to say that if you are being like that and that is how you are at the moment, it will pass if you surround yourself with good people and you know if you work on yourself to the point where you realize their opinion means irrelevant people's opinion means track shit on you the person you want to date with their opinion means absolutely sweet fuck all and so many people might be watching this well yeah obviously lily but younger me like 16 year old if i could tell my 16 year old self anything it's like boys women no matter whatever your sexual orientation is don't mean shit and when i say that hear me out i mean when they want you for one thing and they make you think that you're only good for one thing or you know you get where i'm trying to come at hopefully <laughs> um i'm having a really good girl chat um but yeah when these people no matter what your sexual orientation is we're here to love support love is love um being part of the community myself other people's opinion of yourself means fuck all except your own and like people that you hold dear but even then as long as you know who you are and you know your values and you stand by your values and you stand by your morals and you can go to bed at night knowing that you're not a horrible person or you're not doing the wrong things then i don't think you could want much more like don't get me wrong when i say doing the wrong things i don't mean like like fucking up sometimes like, everyone makes mistakes we're bloody human do you know what i mean like i'm the queen of that trust me ask any of my actually don't ask any of my friends because bloody hell but do you know what i mean but surround yourself with honest people. Like, I see on TikTok all the time. TikTok violates me on, on the daily because it's just so goddamn truthful. Um, and our, phone, our phones definitely listen to us. But it's like, you want a friend that's going to tell you the truth. That truth might hurt. That shit hurts. It cuts deep. But they're only doing it. Is that like, a, yeah, that's on my camera. Um, they're only doing it because they love you. But they'll do it in the right way. People that bring you down to be a dick aren't doing it in the right way they're doing it because they want to get to you they want to get in your head they want to get in your thought process they want to bring you down they want to ruin all the good things you've done to better yourself better yourself sorry the good people in your life like emma she sorted me right out that girl when it comes to my journey of healing like all my girls have done fundamental parts but emma has really shown me that there is another option there's another way to living other than just downward spiraling all the time um so yeah um and I never wanted to listen. And Emma was like talking on deaf ears. Trust me. She was talking on deaf ears. And, but she still continued. Because she saw the hope in me that I didn't see in myself. And they're the kind of friends that we need to surround ourselves with. And like Chloe. She's seen every side to me. She's still there for me. Love you. Courtney, the same. Rhiannon, the same. Kimberly, the same. Like, I FaceTime Kimberly in some states. I'm sure if you're watching this, babe, you will, you'll know what I'm on about. But they're still there. You don't have to talk to them every day. You don't have to see them every day. Because I see most of my girlies are, like, dotted all over the UK um, and above. But, like, they're there. And I'm there for them. No matter what they need, if they need support, if they need someone to rant to, rave to, cry to, I'm there. And that's what I mean. You love life, in my opinion. This might sound weird, but this is just how my brain works. Isn't just someone that you could be seen to potentially marry or date or boyfriend and girlfriend, fiancés, whatever. That is a soulmate, obviously, if you're lucky enough to experience that. But it's also friendships. And that's something that's so important on this journey. Like, how they've been with me and this with Sam is just lovely they're like obviously look after yourself protect yourself protect yourself at all costs but he seems like a genuinely fucking nice guy and for those girls who have seen it all to say that it means a lot and it shows that when you're in the right place you attract the right things and the right people so 
yeah i have like rambled on for so long but it feels so good to get this out because i just want to share that i know i was once a girl that would watch these kind of videos going ill like get a grip like not everyone can be as happy as that right now but don't get me wrong i've had like a turbulent week i've had a great week for many reasons but i've also had like the beginning of the week was shit it was absolutely horrendous i was going through a lot and i just wasn't processing it very well but that's life and on the journey i'm on that's just the reality of it however a bad day doesn't define a bad week it doesn't define a bad life and i never believed that shit either i was like yeah okay haha <laughs> When you're on that journey yourself and you actually realise that what they're telling you is true. Like, I go to my therapy and I go, you're right. <laughs> and they're like, I know. <laughs> but it's just, it's really nice and it's wholesome. And who knows what the future will bring. I just feel myself completely around this boy. I feel like... My mum is completely herself as well, which is something she's never really been around guys that I've introduced her to because they just haven't brought that right energy. Not saying that they're wrong people, they just weren't the right people for me and for my life. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so lovely. I've got a lovely day planned today. It's bank holiday weekend as I'm filming this. And I'm just, I am very happy. And I'm just very glad to be able to share this with you all. And I feel very lucky keep saying that but i feel very lucky to be able to have a space where i can just sit do my makeup and chat a lot of waffle and know that some percentage watching it anyway will really enjoy it and appreciate it and yeah because i'm getting so many lovely comments and i'm getting so many lovely messages and i just want to say they do not go unnoticed i do try i do i think i've replied to all of them to be fair because i'm very aware and humble about the fact that i am a small content creator but i love that because I've got my little corner of the internet where I can spread some love, spread some realness, hopefully. I hope that's how it's coming across anyway, that's how it's meant. Um, but yeah, I know that's kind of been love life and also life, but that's just how I roll. So yeah, I am feeling very blessed. I'm feeling very wholesome. Like me and my family are getting stronger and stronger every day, which is just such an amazing feeling. Um, so yeah. Watch this space. Who knows what's going to happen. I can't really stop smiling. Oh, I nearly forgot. I can't forget this part. Jeez, I'll look at my under eyes in the mirror and be like, girl, you didn't use your well powder puff. This stool is going to break at some point. I can feel it. I look at the difference. I don't know if you can actually tell the difference, but there is a massive difference of where I use my powder puff. So, then one more set for the road. But yeah, the saying, no, how can you expect someone else to love you when you don't love yourself? Once again, was one of those sayings. I was like, yeah, right, okay, blah, blah, blah. But it's right. It's so right. And I'm just going to clear away as I talk. Um, be, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but multitask, that's it. Um, but yeah, and just... Be yourself because everyone is unique everyone is different and that's what's beautiful about the world and i think we need to fo stop focusing on differences necessarily and focus on similarities and realize that we're all we're all on the same boat at just at different the speed of that speed boat may be different but we're all on the same one do you know what i mean but i just want to thank you all so much for watching don't forget to smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next vlog or video whichever one you watch first